moments after a few users complained about the unusual loss of funds, Defrost Finance's core team member Doran confirmed that Defrost V2 was hit with a flash loan attack. Defrost Finance, a decentralized leverage trading platform on Avalanche blockchain, announced that both of its versions Defrost V1 and Defrost V2 are being investigated for a hack. The announcement came after investors reported losing their stake Defrost Finance, Melt, and Avalanche, AVAX, tokens from the Metamask wallets. Moments after a few users complained about the unusual loss of funds, Defrost Finance's core team member Doran confirmed that Defrost V2 was hit with a flash loan attack. At the time, the platform believed that Defrost V1 was not impacted by the hack and decided to close down V2 for further investigation. At the time, the platform believed Defrost V1 was not impacted by the hack and decided to close down V2 for further investigation. Blockchain investigator Peckshield found that the hacker manipulated the share price of SWSDC, leading to a gain of roughly $173,000 for the hacker. Upon further analysis, Peckshield's investigation revealed, our analysis shows a fake collateral token is added and a malicious price oracle is used to liquidate current users. The loss is estimated to be greater than $12 million. While the company proactively announced the hack, the community suspects a rug pull situation at play. Defrost V1 was initially announced unaffected by the hack as the first version of Defrost lacked a flash loan function. However, the platform later acknowledged an emergency for V1 as well, stating, Our team is currently investigating. We kindly ask the community to wait for updates and refrain from using either the V1 or V2 for the moment. Until further notice, investors are advised to stop using Defrost Finance. An internal team is currently investigating the situation and will reach out to users through official channels. Defrost Finance has not yet responded to Cointelegraph's request for comment. In 2022, North Korean hackers stole crypto worth more than 800 billion Korean won, $620 million, from decentralized finance, DFI, platforms alone. A spokesperson from South Korea's National Intelligence Service, NIS, revealed that all North Korean hacks were done through overseas DFI exploits. However, with no Your Customer, KYC, initiatives in place, the total number of North Korean hacks saw a significant reduction.